Oh, hello everybody. It's Mike and it's Monday, April 19th, 2021. Denise has something big she wants to tell you. I'm going on an extended water fast. <laughs> Never done that before. So if, if anyone else has, let me know what you liked about it. So far, it's been 26 hours since my last meal, and I feel fine. And all your hair has fallen out that you're wearing a wig now, right? Well, I didn't curl my hair. I, That's a joke. Last night, I took a shower and didn't do anything with it, so sorry. So, yeah, I feel fine. I, but I hear that day three and four will be the worst days because that's when you have gone through all your glycogen in your muscles and you start to actually go into ketosis and burn fat. So you're not even in ketosis now? No, that takes three days. So the yeah. first couple days are like a waste? No, they, they're just not as bad. So day three will be a, a large hill that I'll need to climb. And once I get over that hump, I should feel fine. Okay. We'll see. Yeah, and I've so. noticed that there's a lot less pressure during the day to get meals on time and when people are hungry and can't work and all that whole attitude with everything is like not even a factor anymore. Yeah, um, my stomach's growling and I'm, I'm, I'm reminded, <laughs> my body reminds me occasionally that uh, I'm hungry, but it's, it's actually not as bad as it is when I've had a, a big meal and I'm hungry again two hours later. <laughs> I mean, that's more annoying than just fasting. It is? <laughs> so, yeah, I think fasting is easier. If I would have known this years ago, I would have done this years ago. But you live and learn. So I want to lose 13 pounds in preparation for our trip to Las Vegas. And uh, I'm going to try doing five days fasting, water only, and two days off on the weekends. But you can't just go back to eating, of course. You have to break the fast with something light, like juice. You do? <laughs> or maybe I'll do a coconut you, fast. Just... You just can't eat like a cauliflower steak? No. <laughs> In fact, it, it takes... Once you've shut down your digestive system, which takes about three days, it takes two to three days to start it back up again. So just Saturday oh. and Sunday won't cut it. I'll never get back to having regular meals over the weekend. But I thought maybe if I'm not feeling that great, I will do a coconut water fast over the weekend and then go back to a water only fast again on Monday. But if I'm feeling fine, I might just keep fasting until I'm down those 13 pounds. Okay. So stay tuned and find out how long it takes me. <laughs> Can I do 15 days straight and be done with it? Or will I alternate You're, weekdays Are you really going to do fit two weeks see. straight? Yeah, I can. Uh, other you people think you have can? been doing 30 you days You can do this? <laughs> yeah. Are you sure? Other people have never done this before have done 30 day fasts, <laughs> 30 to 45 even, easily. Okay, and you're, but let's also say that you're not on any maintenance medications. No. If you I, were, that would be a major yeah, problem, not, right? And I'm not <laughs> underweight. Which is another reason to stay healthy, because you can't yeah. even do this if you're really on maintenance medications, right? I'm, I'm not underweight. I'm not going to go underweight. So I know I have fat to burn and uh, I'm... I don't have any chronic diseases. I'm not diabetic. My blood pressure is a little low, so hopefully it won't get so low that I black out. <laughs> and sometimes uh -oh. I get low blood pressure. Yeah, that's sugar. what you say. That's what, that's what Denise has always said to me for years now is I can't fast. I can't skip meals. I can't, you know, when I get hungry, it's more than hungry. It's like I'm going to pass out. Yeah. That's, that's what you've told me. You told me that before. So far, I've, I haven't been lightheaded yet. Well, check with me again on day three. But when we do intermittent fasting, where Mike and I fast between uh, dinner and lunch the next day, I haven't gotten lightheaded. So maybe it won't happen. We'll see. Okay. Well, what about what kind of water are you drinking? Just straight tap water? Um, no, <laughs> no, don't ever drink straight <laughs> tap water. Because uh, it's not it, straight, right? Yeah. I mean, it's got lots of other junk in it besides water. We drink distilled water, so that is best. Reverse osmosis is okay for you too. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, you got to make sure you're drinking at least 64 ounces because, I mean, you're supposed to drink that much anyway, but since you're not eating and not getting any water from food, like fruit, you should Yeah, drink plants have a lot of water. water. If you're eating mostly whole plants, you are getting a lot of water, and you don't need to supplement with, with straight water that much. But yeah, yeah, you're saying you have to have the water because you can't, you can live without food uh -huh. for a while, but you can't live without water for yeah. long at all. Yeah, and 
uh, my attempts at giving up tea has have failed me. Uh oh. So uh, I'm still addicted to caffeine, and I've read that you can drink black coffee or tea or green tea. So I haven't even gotten into my green matcha tea yet. <laughs> so okay. I'm excited about that. All right, I but had tea today, black tea, two cups. You did okay. Uh, what about the you're like in the repair mode now, or healing mode? That's something I. We've talked about it before. Yeah, like because anytime it, you're fasting, you're in repair mode. Right, but people, but your average person on the street thinks exactly the opposite. Like you're harming yourself. Right. You know, uh, it's bad, bad news well, to be see. to have that feeling of hunger. Yeah, I I grew up being told that if I don't eat, I'll slow down my metabolism. But I don't think that's true because I lost. I lost a few pounds doing the intermittent fasting and yeah, you know, when I went back to my old eating habits, I, I gained it back, but no quicker than I would have if I had been on any other kind of diet. So yeah. I don't think we're damaging our metabolism. I yeah, I don't. that's a yeah. wise tale. Yeah. Well, also just the fact that if you stop eating and you stop eating whatever nutrients people think have been beneficial over the years, which is like animal products, people think it has a lot of nutrients, <laughs> that you're going to harm yourself because you're... You're denying yourself nutrients. So just that whole thing right there is a fallacy, I think. Yeah, well, I did take my B12 and I'll take some, I'll multivitamin every day too if Mike ever finds where he put those. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> but you really should try to avoid uh, any kind of supplements because they do cause cancer. That's part of the problem with supplements. They're a known cancer causer, but you've got to take B12 like Denise is saying. I think that B12 can be excluded from that. But people who take supplements generally take a lot of supplements and a lot of different things. Even a multivitamin has a tremendous amount of different chemicals in it is the problem. If you're talking about B12, it's just one. It's one single one. Yeah. So maybe I should take iron independently from that overkill in the multivitamin. Maybe. All right. <laughs> so we're going to try to give an update every day. Well, Denise is going to get an update because I'm eating. I ate lunch. I had a smoothie for lunch. Yeah. I, I kept it away from Denise, so I didn't... And it was bad. It was terrible. It was awful. Okay. You're better off not drinking it. I couldn't see it or smell it, so it was yeah. fine. It's not like okay. you baked a pizza and yeah. a, or apple pie in the yeah. whole house. Or ate a cauliflower it. steak. <laughs> well, that <laughs> That's has my no smell. <laughs> yeah, steak. You gotta say steak, right? But all I know is cauliflower steak. Yeah. If you're if you're vegan, that's the only steak you can eat. So, mm. all right, that's it. We'll do an update every day. See how you're doing. We'll see if Denise is even able to walk tomorrow. She may be crawling. I may have to get her a wheelchair or something like that, right? Yeah, I might pass out and break a hip. Who knows? Uh -oh. We uh -oh. might have more updates tomorrow. I hope not. I hope not. <laughs> All right, well, so how long? You really want to go 15 days? Yeah, I want to go till I'm done. Then maybe we can uh, go to vegan treats. <laughs> over in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania before Vegas and celebrate. <laughs> okay. All right. Maybe. All right. Well, so we'll try to give an update in the evening. Like it's 5 30, 6 o'clock right now after work walk, but I won't be around all the time because a lot of times I go out of state to go to work. So maybe we can do a video chat and I can record that or something on those days. Yeah. But you, Zoom call. But you'll have to, we'll have to do it at a time when you're not out walking. If you yeah. can still walk, you may not be able to walk. We're not sure about that. We don't want to yeah. assume that you'll be able to walk anymore. I, I'm healthy. I think I'll make <laughs> my own energy. Thank you. Okay. So it'll be 15 days, 14 more to go. Yeah. That's, a, that's a long time. So I'm going to be eating all the green pear pupusas and pizza. And I'm going to get a half order now. I have to get a half order because Denise isn't going to be eating. But you're gonna, are you going to go walk with me to get food? Sure. You'll be okay with that? Yeah. Okay. All right. That's it. Any final words on your first day? No. Nope. Wish me luck. Okay. Bye. Uh, adios.